Hey everybody, I'm Mike. This is Budget Guns and Gear Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at the Henry Liver Action X 410 shotgun. Stick around. Maybe we'll learn something together. So I'm at my local sportsman's club and there are other people shooting, so as Paul Harrell says, please bear with me. <laughs> Those of you who've watched the channel for a while may have seen my Lever Action Axe review. It's the 410 bore non-NFA firearm put out by Henry Repeating Arms. Well, I reached out to them when I saw that they'd released a full-sized version, so Henry was kind enough to send me their Lever Action 410X shotgun. It's kind of the full-sized version of the Axe, except it has polymer furniture uh, and, of course, full-length barrel and conventional stock. It is built on the same receiver as is their 4570 lever action so that's kind of cool. Uh, maybe I can get one of those to review for deer season. That would be great. Um, anyhow this is a six round tubular magazine fed lever action for 410 bore shotgun. You can load it either from the front of the magazine or through the side gate that Henry has started putting on their guns which is pretty cool. Uh, that way you can chamber around and top it off if you want to. Um, so far, I've had it out in the woods the last couple days, uh, hunting squirrel and stuff. And for a shotgun, you know, it's a shotgun, it's got some heft to it, but it's still pretty light and pretty handy to use. Uh, being a 410, it has real general recoil impulse. Uh, trigger on it's pretty doggone good. And, uh, you know... I just like it. I like it a lot so far. Has a high vis front sight, and the rear, the receiver, is drilled and tapped for the same Weaver scope rail that the axe is. Has a generous butt pad to it, but you know, you don't really need that. It's 410, right? It has a front rail for the attachment of a light, a laser, bipod, whatever, and it also has M lock slots at the front. Let's go ahead and load it up and uh, see how it patterns and then do some shooting at those clays. First up, we're going to try some uh, Winchester Super X Upland and Small Game Load number 6 shot. First we'll see how it patterns down there on the target, then we'll see how quick I can knock off those clay pigeons. I did some shooting with it the other day, and I'll roll in some footage here while I'm talking. I was using some Estate 410 shells. It did not seem to like it. It didn't want to feed. It was catching on the lip of the brass. So we'll see how it feeds this Winchester Super X. Hopefully it does a little bit better than it did with uh, the estate stuff. An interesting thing is since it's the same receiver as the axe, this buttstock would fit on the axe. Maybe if they make a version of this in walnut, I'll see if Henry will send me a uh, wooden buttstock and I'll go through all the paperwork and turn the axe into an, a short barreled shotgun. That would be cool. Let's go ahead and pattern this. It's about 15 yards. This has an Invector style full choke in it. As you can see, that's a pretty fair pattern at 15 yards. It's definitely meant as a squirrel. Let me top it off and we'll see how quick I can pick up all six of those targets. Granted, that's only at about 10-15 yards, but still it's definitely meant at a squirrel. Uh, I know I was shooting clays with the short barrel version of this and uh, that was pretty doggone easy so I can only imagine that uh, typical clay shooting range would be the same with this you know. Let me go ahead and slap another sticker on the the silhouette target down there and we'll pattern this with some uh, federal buckshot and with some Winchester buckshot as well. So this is some Federal 410 handgun rounds, defensive ammo. It's two and a half inch, four pellets, a triple lot buck. Let's see what this uh, pattern's like at 10 to 15 yards. 
This is way longer than mu pretty much any home defense scenario you're going to get. So this will give you a good idea of what you can do with this at that range. I'm aiming right at the center dot. So pretty decent spread there. One of them right in the bullseye, one of them right next to it. The other two are a little bit up and to the left. Let me throw another sticker on there and we'll see what it'll do with Winchester buckshot. I decided just to go ahead and paste up the holes instead of put a whole new sticker on. This time it's with uh, three pellets of triple lot buck moving a bit faster uh, from Winchester. So let's load this up and see how it patterns. I'm going to use my same point of aim right at the center bullseye dot on the target. That had a little bit more spread to it, didn't it? Let me go paste those up. Let's see if I can hit anywhere close to the bullseye with these. Anyhow, that was my look at uh, the Henry Lever Action X 410. Pretty damn awesome gun. Uh, as I said, I've been hauling it through the woods. Great handy gun to take through the woods. Recoil is nothing. Uh, you know, if you wanted to mount a flashlight or a laser or whatnot on this for home defense, you could easily do it and you know, I don't think you'd have to worry as much about overpenetration and whatnot as you would with a uh, with like a 12 gauge or a 20 gauge, but it still packs enough punch to get the job done, um, and with a lot less recoil for the more recoil sensitive members of your family. So that's something to consider too. Anyhow, I'm Mike. This is Budget Guns and Gear Reviews. This was my look at the Henry Lever Action X410. If you like what you saw, please like, share, subscribe. Consider becoming a patron on my Patreon account. Every little bit helps me bring content like this to you. And as always, come on back. Maybe we'll learn something together.